Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we'll be solving this problem that came in AITS. So in this question we have been given a non-conducting uniform thin shell whose mass is m and radius is r. It has a uniform charge density of plus sigma on one side and minus sigma on the other side. At t equal to zero we have a uniform electric field E0 acting in the negative y direction and they say they are saying the sphere starts rolling without slipping then we have to find the acceleration of the topmost point, the acceleration of the center, and the friction force acting on the shell. And all of this is at time t equal to zero. So the first concept we'll be requiring for solving this problem is that if we consider a hemisphere of constant mass per unit area, we should be aware of the result that the center of mass of this hemispherical shell lies at a distance r by two above the vertex of the hemisphere. Now, as the center of charge is also constant, whose magnitude is sigma, we can write the magnitude of the charge on this hemispherical shell as sigma times the surface area of the shell. And we can place is at the same place as the center of mass because the calculations for the center of charge and the center of mass, are, mass is exactly same, right? Because the distribution is uniform. So basically we can replace this entire shell into uh, a point charge whose magnitude is sigma a which is placed at a distance r by 2 from the vertex. So if we have to draw the FBD of the sphere we can replace this whole, we can replace this negative charge distribution by a point charge whose mass is minus sigma a which is at a distance of r by 2 from the vertex and similarly the positive charge we can replace with a plus sigma a. Uh, at a distance of r by 2 from the center. Okay. This now forms a dipole, if you can see carefully, like a plus q charge and a minus q charge separated out by a distance. So if you dipole moment of the sphere, it will be p equals the charge times the distance of separation between them. So that is going to be sigma multiplied by the surface area of the hemisphere is 2 pi r squared and times the distance of separation between the charges is r. And the direction of the dipole is from the negative charge to the positive charge. The torque due to a dipole in a uniform electric field is P cross E. So as this is the direction of the dipole moment, this is the direction of electric field. If you do P cross E, you'll get the direction to be into the plane. So the torque due to the dipole is clockwise in this sense. So then the magnitude is going to be, now it's given that this angle is 53 degrees. So this angle is going to be 37 degrees because a line makes an angle 53 degree with the vertical. So the normal to that line will make an angle 37 with the vertical. So the magnitude of the dipole will be the dipole moment times the electric field sin, times sine 37. So if you do the calculations, you'll get the answer to be six by five pi r cube sigma E naught. So now if we write the torque equation about the center of mass, the torque due to the dipole will be six by five pi r cube sigma E naught. And the torque due to friction, so let's assume friction is acting in this direction. So the torque due to friction will be minus F times R about the center of mass. And this will be equal to the I about the center of mass, which is two by three MR squared times the alpha. So the alpha, as we have taken the clockwise torque is positive, let's assume the clockwise alpha to be positive. And let's say the acceleration of center of mass of the shell is A, B, two by three MR square alpha. Now equation number two, this would be your equation number one. Equation number two will be F equals MA, right? Because the there is no electric force in the vertical directions, right? And as it is given that the hemisphere is pure rolling, we can say A equals R alpha. So now if we eliminate alpha from equation one, we'll get the value of friction. So now we have to find, and now as we know the friction force, uh, we can get the acceleration A to be simply F by M. So that will be, so this is the uh, acceleration of the center of mass, which was asked in a question. Now, we know in rolling motion, um, the center moves with the velocity of a towards the right and the topmost point the acceleration is going to be a plus r alpha right and r alpha is simply a so we can write the acceleration net acceleration to be 2a so the acceleration at the topmost point is going to be 36 by 25 pi r square sigma e naught by m so that's all for this problem if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching guys